Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you guys my UI setup inside of Studio. So I had this command UI as an example. And so, okay, why is a UI setup important? I'm going to explain a few things, first of all. Now, if you are designing a UI inside of, let's say Photoshop, right? That is basically the UI concept or mockup because inside of Photoshop, the final result is an image, correct? Now, when you have a UI inside of Studio or any kind of production engine, for example, uh, if you if you are developing outside of Roblox, that could be Unity or some other you know game developing engine, uh, you're going to have the UI inside with its with the engines UI objects. So inside of Roblox, we have, you know, frames, UI strokes, UI scale, list, corner, and all this kind of stuff. This is important because every single uh, UI object here has its own purpose. So for example, we have frames, uh, canvas groups here. Uh, the canvas groups renders all of the children objects as uh, in one single rasterized layer so if we go over to the roblox docs it says canvas group renders descendant as a group with color and transparency applied to the render result gui effects ui corners and ui gradients under canvas group will also apply to the whole group so obviously all of these details most of this will be much more uh relevant to the programmers however the whole point of making ui is so that your coders can actually use it and uh, apply function and also logic to your designs. So if you see here, right, I have each tab. Now each tab here is only a frame. Now these tabs are meant to be buttons. We should use a plugin. I use reclass where you can convert this into a button like so. You can see it is, it uh, nothing really changes or messes up the uh, design. Let me change the order, okay? Obviously I have the screen GUI right under. I have a canvas frame. What is a canvas frame? This canvas frame is basically, if you add a frame, right? You go for anchor point, 0.5 and 0.5 to center uh, the anchor point like this. And you go for size, X scale, one, zero and Y one zero like so you go position x.5 y.5 now i use a canvas frame because i don't want my ui floating um this canvas group i don't want the ui to float in the screen gui like this it is just floating and i don't like that. You're trying to build your Roblox game, but you have no UI assets. What if you could actually drag and drop a full UI kit, drag it in, and you can see we have all of these UI frames right over here. Best part is we actually have full icon packs. Let's go ahead and change these icons. It's really that simple. Full UI kits, icon packs, educational resources like tutorials, and much more. Save time, build faster, design better, and start building your game project. Check out design assets at gfxcommon.com and also get the unlimited access bundle to get lifetime access to all assets. With a canvas frame, I can add a background anytime I want. Uh, for example, I can add an image here for the uh, background as well. If I bring this up so it is quicker, we can go fit anchor and you can see I can very easily add a background here as well. Change the Z index as you can see. So that is cool. This is very simple. Name this your canvas, right? And here, this is your basic uh, parent frame. And now let's take a look at our command UI right here. Uh, here I'm using a canvas group because I have the top bar that clips uh, inside as you can see and this UI right here is responsive so you know I could copy my tabs right here and the UI is going to resize 
like so. Now, if this is one single UI, could you imagine a full game UI, right? Every single page, every single element, uh, every feature that is entirely responsive and connected to each other. Now, of course, lots of Roblox games don't have that and the games still do well. But personally, I don't think it will stay that way for, for too long because I think the quality of games is going to increase every single aspect from the modeling to UI to the actual, you know, code base and overall game design is going to be continuously improving. But you can see here, I have a mainframe, right? And I am using a list layout as well. If we take this off, you can see my UI just kind of uh, <laughs> implodes, right? Let me bring this back. So I'm using a list layout to sort my main and my top frame right here. Some basics is I always export every single icon with the color white, uh, like this, from Photoshop or Figma into Studio because for image color to work, uh, your asset has to be white. So as long as it is white, you can recolor all the stuff to anything you want. As you can see right here inside of my uh, tab, I have the keybind and text being arranged with a list layout as well using space between. So this is a really quick video to kick off the month. I know I did not go into uh, too much practical details besides the canvas frame, but I uh, hope this gave you guys some insights into the importance of actually setting up your UI correctly. Of course, I am planning on making more videos covering every single little thing that I have briefly discussed here. So if you guys enjoyed uh, quicker videos like this, drop a like down below, comment, uh, check out the store at gfxcomment.com, UI assets, UI kits, icon packs, and the design academy. Stay tuned and I will catch you guys in the next video.